everybody, so today I'm back with another Lush video, and today's Lush video I am so excited about. I've never done a video like this, and I got the idea from YouTuber Candy Lion. If you guys have never watched Candy Lion's videos, I'll put the video that she did on this topic in the doobly-doo so you guys can check it out. Her videos are amazing, one of the best Lush YouTubers out there, so if you like watching Lush videos, subscribe to her, because she's super creative and she posts a bunch of videos all the time. I love her. She's great. Also, I did want to mention in this video that I did get a haircut. I know it's really hard to tell because it's in a ponytail and it looks exactly the same, but I did get a haircut and it looks a lot different, so if you want to check out that whole process, I'll put the link to that vlog in the doobly-doo, and you can check out my vlog channel and subscribe. <gasps> so much stress is going on. I just love so many products from Lush and so many scent categories from Lush that it was so hard for me to decide to decide. Blah, blah. I was originally going to do five and I was like there is no possible way I can do that so I chose ten and hopefully you guys like the video. If you do make sure to give it a big thumbs up. I asked for you guys to get 65 likes on my last video and you did it so I want to see if we can do it again. That would be mind blowing. If you want to see more Lush videos like this one, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I post videos pretty regularly, so you guys can just be notified when I post videos. It's exciting. Okay, guys. Let's do this. Alright, guys. So the first scent category that I've written down here is the Bright Side scent. This is obviously in things like the Bright Side Bubble Bar, which is my favorite bubble bar of all time, and the Bright Side Perfume that they sometimes have, I guess. I would not recommend this scent to you if you don't like citrusy scents, just because it is a very sweet, zingy scent. It is amazing if you do like citrusy scents, especially for this time of year in the summer and in the spring, which already happened, but you know, I don't know when you're watching this, it could be in the spring. It honestly makes me feel so happy whenever I smell it. It's incredible. So, if you like oranges and zesty and candies, get the right side scent. Alright guys, so the next scent I have is from the Halloween range and it's the Kalaka scent. Now, this one might be a little bit surprising to you because I don't talk about the Kalaka scent very often, I guess. I don't know. I feel like I don't. It also sounds like it would be a delicious drink, but... That's not what we're talking about. Products that have the Kalaka scent are the Enchanter Bath Bomb and Lady Katrina Soap and like that Kalaka's shower jelly that they have. It has a very fruit punch, grape soda-y type scent, which I know is kind of a weird description, but that's what it smells like to me. This next one is a no-brainer. It's in their regular collection. One, the only, the Rose Jam. Obviously Lush has a bunch of different products with the Rose Jam scent, like the shower gel, the Rose Bombshell, uh, the Rose Bubble Rune that they have, Rose Argan Body Conditioner, a bunch of different things with this scent, and that is for a reason. It's such a popular scent because it's such an amazing rose scent. I think the reason I love this scent so much is because it has a kick of lemon in it, so it gives it like a zingy undertone that really like evens out the rose scent and doesn't make it too like perfumey and disgusting smelling. All of the Lush products with the Rose Jam scent are phenomenal. I mean, it's amazing. Alright guys, so the next thing I'm going to talk about is from the Christmas collection. This is the Hot Toddy scent category. Hot Toddy is a beautiful, Christmassy, wintry, Fall e spicy uh, see so many e's guys I think I should stop my holly go lightly bubble bar is a little a little ratchet right now it doesn't have any holly berries and this comes off so it's such a nostalgic scent for me and I think that's the reason I like it it's so spicy and warm and it just really reminds me of good like jolly happy times if you're into very spicy and warm scented things I would highly recommend the hot toddy scent it's so good, you guys. I cannot even express to you how much I love this scent. If you don't like spicy scents, don't get this, because it kind of smells like hot tamales. I know you guys know I won't leave this one out, so I'm just going to say it. The next one in my scent category top 10 list is the yummy, yummy, yummy scent. Mighty Rage. Things that are in the yummy, yummy, yummy scent include the Peeping Santa, Dun 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 dun! Yummy yummy yummy. Yummy 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 shower gel. Mrs. Whippy, Strawberry Feels Forever Massage Bar. All those types of things. So many scents with yummy yummy yummy. So many discontinuations. So many mighty rages. But I love it so much. Yummy 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 is a type of scent that anybody would like. It smells just like strawberries and cream. It's very sweet. Bazinga. Next I have the snow shower scent or the celebrate scent. It's more well known for the celebrate scent, but then on the list I was looking at, 
It was called Snow Showers, I'm pretty sure, so I don't know. Snow Shower scent is really, really good. It makes me happy and feel like I want to celebrate something really exciting and like a citrusy alcoholness. Woo woo. Snow Showers has a bunch of different scents. It's in one of my favorite bath bombs called the Golden Wonder. I'm sure you guys have used it. It's amazing. It's in a lotion. It's in, I believe, a massage bar. It's also in the Supernova bath bomb that they used to have, and sometimes it's like on the Lush Kitchen and stuff like that. It has a little bit of alcohol in it, which might give it that distinctness that it has, but it smells like oranges and lemons, and it's just very zingy and perfect for like New Year's and basically all times of year whenever you need like a little pep in your step. It will be your friend. Alright guys, so if you've been on my channel for a while, you know that this next scent was going to be on this list. Of course, So White. Now, So White has only been in two things, and I believe that's the shower gel and this bath bomb. I can't even describe to you how much of an amazing scent this is. It's such a crisp apple smell. It's like really refreshing, super duper good. And even though it's so simple, it is so amazing. I love this So White so much. Next I'm going to talk to you guys about the vanilla scent. This is in a bunch of different Lush products. It's basically Lush's standard vanilla scent, but it is incredible. It's so sweet. It smells like something you'd want to eat. So many of Lush's products smell like you could eat them, but don't do it. Tastes like soap. I like this because it's like your standard vanilla that basically every bath company does, but it has its individuality, individuality. You can definitely pick it out in a crowd of different vanilla scented things. It's not boring and it's just so incredible and I would recommend it to anybody. Definitely, definitely one of my top 10 faves from Lush. Next is something you guys probably aren't expecting from this video, but my next favorite scent is the Maypole. The scent is also in the Salt and Peppermint Bark Scrub that they brought out last year at Christmas time, and that's when I discovered the scent. Actually, I discovered this scent from my beautiful friend Lottie over in England because she sent me a little piece from Lush Oxford Street back when it wasn't in stores in America. It smells like a sweet peppermint bark or something like that, but it's like such a clear scent and it's so classic, but it's so good. I can't describe to you the amazingness of these products, you guys. I love them all so much and I'm so enthusiastic about like every single one of them. If you're a fan of mint, I would highly recommend the Maple Soap, which they have all year round, and this, which hopefully they'll bring back for Christmas. If you're curious to see my honorable mentions that I couldn't fit into top 10, I'll put those in the doobly-doo so you guys can read other products that I also really enjoy. Last but not least, I'm talking about the Olive Branch. This is in things like the Pop in the Bath Bubble Bar and Olive Branch Shower Gel and stuff like that. This scent is really, really different. It's really hard for me to describe the scent, but basically it smells like bergamot, and orange. It's a really versatile scent which I really really like about it. You can basically use it any time of year. Also things that have the olive branch scent in my experience have been really moisturizing which I really like about it. I really like the scent. It's really different and I really really like it. I really enjoyed filming this video. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this. I am going to be doing a lush ranking bath bombs video pretty soon but I will post a challenge video before that video. So Get excited. I will see you guys very soon. Bye. My hair's a little like. Oh, this one's new. I haven't even opened this. Awkward. Ugh. Oh my gosh, it's getting everywhere. Thanks again to Candy Lion for like giving me this video idea. You are the real MVP.